Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to be touching base on another Living Dead doll that I just recently got in about three weeks ago. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't done any videos in a very long time. It's been distracting the last couple of months. Uh, we just got a new puppy, so we've been dealing with that. Um, my wife's uh, father, he just got, uh, went home, so we're pretty much done with that. And now I'm hearing that he might come back down next year. So I'm like, okay, all right. But anyway, uh, we're going to talk about the Living Dead Dolls based on Ghostface. Now, I got the original here, as well as the zombie version. Okay, and I'm going to look at the box, and then um, we're going to compare the two of them, okay? So in the meantime, let's just look at this box here a little bit. Okay. Now, i got to do this on the side simply because this box is gigantic. All right. And it's got a little glare to it, so I apologize. Alright. Now he's just right there at the doorway. Alright. This one is called Living Dead Dog Presents Ghost Face. Now that says lives. Okay, so obviously it's got the zombie face or the zombie mask and not the face. Alright. And there's the face of that. Okay. And you see, I still got the mold and everything in there. But like I said, it's got a lot of glare to it. Okay. But it's very unique looking box art. Okay. Let me turn it to this side here so you can see that. Okay. It's a very cool artwork here. All right. And that's what that looks like. This like so, and that's what she looks like. Let's get to the back. I already showed you that, so we're gonna put this on to the side. Okay. Now, in some cases, they do come with some accessories, um, but in this case, it came with a knife, as well as the actual robe. It's a little different. I'm gonna show you the difference between them. Okay. So we're gonna put this right here. Okay, well, that's a ghost face. I'm going to turn this on so you can see it. Okay, there you go. And I got the other ghost face here too, so we're going to put him right next to him. Okay, there you go. There we go. Let's just stare at him. See, that's pure white there. And obviously, it comes with a knife, okay. And I think the knife on the zombie version, I think, is a blood variant. Maybe not. All right. As you can hear, it's raining outside. It's been doing a lot of that down here in North Carolina. All right. So there is subtle differences between the masks. The robe is completely different as well, as you can see. Okay. The original ghost face, um, the actual robe in itself, the cuts are completely different too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this off and we're going to compare the two of them, okay? Alright, so now... Right. Dun 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 dun! Hi, motherfuckers! We are Ghostface. Now I noticed that the actual masks in themselves are... They seem a little slightly different, but I could be wrong about that. Maybe they're about the same. But the actual um, zombie type stuff going on there, that's a very cool effect. I should actually reach out and purchase one of the zombie versions of these masks. Because I do got the, the blood pumping uh, um, ghost face mask sitting on my shelf with the other masks. So I'm thinking about getting another one of these. Okay, but it, the price has got to be right, obviously. Okay, now, you'll notice the knives are pretty much the same. Slightly different, but not much not much different. But the robes, as you can see, this one here, it's got the sparkly effect, as you can see on the hood here. All right. And the original, I believe, did have the sparkly robe. It never had a straight robe like this, I don't think. But I'm not a big expert when it comes to Ghostface movies. I've seen them all. I, I think they're pretty cool for the most part. Uh, there are experts out there that can tell you the differences between any of these things here, okay? So we're going to put him up here 
and then I'm going to show you the actual robe here. The articulation on these, just like any other Living Dead doll, it does move from shoulder but does not bend at the elbows or the hands. The head in itself all right, it do, it's very movable because it's on a ball joint. Okay, So you can pose this any way you see fit. Okay. Now, pulling the mask down. Okay. It's got a little Velcro right there that kind of holds it in place. But we're not going to mess with that too much. Okay. Now the mask, I don't think comes off. Or does it? Let me see. No. It's part of the actual part of the actual living dead doll. I gotta trim my nails. <laughs> Alright, but anyway. Pinch that close a little bit. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Alright, there you go. Like I said, it's got the sparkliness to it. The actual bottom of the rope here, the tassels here, are pretty true to the original. Except they're, the variants, they're, they're cut different. I think the original was more square than these here. As you can see, it's got a little draping effect to it. Okay. But it's not 100% accurate, but it's close enough to stand there and say, oh, this is ghost face. And it is, for the most part, okay? And then there's the back of it. Like I said, it's got a lot of sparklies to it. This one does, anyway. The original, not so much, okay? Now, I got this one here a while back, okay? But he's pretty much the same figure, except that the mask is different. And obviously the robe is going to be slightly different too as well. Okay? Alright, there you go. These Living Dead dolls are very cool. Okay? The actual boots on these things. Alright? As you can see, it is literally a boot. Now towards the back of it. As you can see. Okay, it's wide open a little bit. But the lighting is bad here, so... Anyway, I think you can take the boots off if you if you wanted to. Alright. Alright. Well, let's check out the bottom of the rope here. Alright. It's pretty close to it. See how that's not so choppy? And it's this one here is a little bit different. It's more angular. So each of the robes that they use in these movies were slightly different. Okay? But these are my ghost face. That's the zombie version. I like to call it the zombie version because the mask is a zombie version, in my opinion, anyway. So, and then there you go. Okay. All right. Uh, like I said, I want to get. I definitely want to get a different mask to the zombie one if I can find it. The, if the price is right. Okay. They're like, la 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 la. <laughs> and they're about the same height, okay? As long as it doesn't hit the back of that wall, we're going to be fine. Alright, let's bring him over here. There we go. There you go. Now you can see. Yeah. Judging from the look of it, this one here it seems like it's a little taller, but that's probably because it's not fully bent. And his head's probably up a little higher. But those are my ghost face based on the Living Dead dolls. I think they're very cool too. Okay. But anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Hope you guys like this. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because now I'm going to be concentrating on my mega scale version of my Mezco figure. Based on Pennywise from the 2017 movie. Not the 1990 movie. But the 2017 movie. Now there is, like I've mentioned, another mega scale version of Pennywise. And it's got all the teeth in it. I might pick it up further down the line. Because these things are $100 a pop. Okay, They're expensive. okay, But they're worth it in my opinion. okay. Anyway, we're going to be doing that one next. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And you like the Living Dead dolls. I will see you guys at the very next video.